So another facet of using WordPress is a user configuration and user administration. Um, you can add users and you can edit users. So let's begin. So let's go to our dashboard and then go to users and see how there's an all users, add new, and your profile. So let's look at all of those in turn. So all users, right now we only have one user set up and it's admin. If we wanted to add a new user, we could do that simply by doing this. Um, we could say, the name is Bill, and it's bill at gmail.com. First name is Bill, last name is Smith. Website is whatever, sure. Um, create a password. Oops. Make sure you create a secure password. All right. I use a password uh, manager for doing this called LastPass. Um, and basically, you hit a couple keystrokes and it creates a password for you, and you're off to the races. Um, a neat thing here is if you check this off, send this password to the new user by email. So, WordPress will actually send an email to this address with this password in it. And you also want to set the role. So there are subscribers, administrators, editors, authors, and contributors. Um, typically, in a, in a small website, you're going to have administrators and maybe editors, but that's about it. Subscribers will be anybody who registers on your site. Um, so there will be three basic kinds of users, um, and typically, 99% of the time, you're really only going to have two. You're going to have admins and subscribers. All right. So we're going to make this person an admin, and then you just click on Add New User. And you can see there that the person is here. Um, for now, I'm going to delete this user. And when you delete a user, you have a choice. You can delete all posts and links that that user's created, or you can attribute any posts and links that user create that user created to another user. In this case, the only other user is admin. But it doesn't really matter in this case because that user never really created any kind of content. So then click Confirm Deletion, and you're done. So we've shown you all users, add new, and then let's look at your profile, which is going to be my profile in this case. Um, there's a few options here that you can change. Um, there's a visual editor, which you can disable the visual editor when writing. I, I never change any of this stuff, really. Um, the only thing I might change is I might put my name here, Tom Smith, and then my nickname could be Tom instead of admin, and then I could say show my name as Tom, and then I could put in Tom at whatever, right? And then my contact info is would be my website, um, my instant messengers, Google Talk. You could put a bio here. It doesn't really matter. You could change your password here. Um, and these are theme-specific settings here, so it won't really apply to you. And then when you're done, um, you can just click update profile. That's it. All right, that's all you really need to know about users. All right.